This is the plaintiff, Nancy Ionello. She says her husband surprised her by buying her a Mercedes convertible from the defendant, and the guy unloaded a lemon on him. The engine has leaking gaskets. She brought it to him to fix. He did a half-baked job, and she's suing him for the return of the $250 she paid him because the guy fixed absolutely nothing. This is the defendant, Frank Bruno. He says he tries to make everyone happy, but the plaintiff's one of those people who only wants to hear what she wants to hear, and she won't listen to reason. This woman's always going to be disgruntled and unhappy no matter what he does, but bottom line, he did a great job and owes her nothing. He's accused of shoddy workmanship. All parties, please hit your right hand. Be seated, come to order, please. Let against have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Nancy Ionello, you are suing Ace Service Station Incorporated, represented here by the owner, Frank Bruno, yes. for $250 that you want returned to you and a repair that took place some time ago, and you feel that it was done incorrectly. Talk to me, what happened? Okay, so uh, my husband bought me this car for my 50th birthday, which was two years ago. And he surprised me with the car. And what kind of car is this? It is a uh, red Mercedes 500 SL. Convertible. Convertible. Don't, don't leave out the convertible part. Yeah. Go on. It is nice. So when he bought the car, he, I was not aware of it. And, uh, now, he actually bought the car from you. Is that correct? Yes. Okay. Why are you making a face? Because she came to look at it first, so I don't know how she wasn't aware of it. Okay. I did go look at the car first. My husband wanted to Yeah, but see. then he, then the and actual then he, buying of it was right. a surprise. All right, so that takes place. The sale happens when? May 17, 2014. Okay. Correct. And is there any kind of warranty with this sale? Yes, there is. And what was it? It was a year and a half, yeah. I think. I need to see exactly when the warranty would end. The ending date of the warranty would be September of 2015. She bought the car in May of 14, we just said, right? Yes. Would that be correct? Does that sound right? Correct. September of 2015 correct. would be the end of the warranty. All right. And is that through, through a third party warranty company or through you? Who's through, got a, through a third party warranty company which the customer could bring to anywhere they want. They don't have to bring it back to me. Got it. So go ahead. So what happens? You buy it and you take possession in May. So uh, when I went to look at the car, then my husband purchased it, gave it to me at a surprise party. And uh, well, let me go back. My no, don't go back. No, I need to go to the problems. My husband took me for a test ride. It smelled like something was burning. And he kept saying, do you smell it? Do you smell it? And I said, wait, on the test drive? Yes. So he went into Frank and he said, they start fighting. And I'm saying, how could he be fighting with this guy? He just met him. Not knowing my husband already purchased the car. He was just showing me you want it. He said, oh, it smells like burning. So Frank said, don't worry, I'll take care of it. From that date on at 57,000 miles, this car only comes out on the sunny days, only in the summer. I take it out occasionally in the winter just to keep the motor going. I've been back and forth to Frank at least 10 times, at least if not more. So on 11-5, I had a door panel fa fixed and uh, he installed uh, a right side valve cover gasket. 11-5 of what year? 2015. Okay, so this is now almost more than a year and yeah. a half after you bought the car. I didn't know there's two gaskets. What did you think right side meant? Well, you didn't think there was I, a left he said side? you needed gaskets, okay. so I said, "Okay, do the job." Okay. So he said it was going to be three hundred and four dollars, and I said, "Fine." We went there, and we took the car, and again, the oil still smelled. So in between this, I had had my car detailed. So I went to the, the gentleman that detailed the car and said, while you're detailing the car, could you look at the motor? He also does, he's a collision place. He does everything. So he says, well, your gasket is leaking. He marked it with the crayon. Which gasket? He said both, right and I, left. Can I see a, an affidavit or something from this? Yes, I have a preliminary estimate. And then a week later, I had the repair done. And my car does not Do you smell. have a statement from him, though? I don't, but okay. this is the collision. This is the place that did the work. So when I approached Frank, it said, but Frank, they're leaking. He said, I only did the right side. I said, what do you mean? I, you didn't do the left? He goes, no, I only did the right. I said, but that's like cleaning half of your carpet. 
I mean, if you're going to fix your gaskets, why would you do one side and not the other? I mean, the major cost is the actual labor involved yeah. in taking the cover off. If you, it's an eighteen dollar piece. <laughs> I have at his. your place. It's a thirty dollar. You charge thirty dollars for the gasket. What do you charge the, the for the gasket? The gasket is nominal. I it's know. The labor. So why wouldn't you? It's I the know. Labor. And the labor is the same whether you replace yeah. one. No. I need you to press your off button. Whether you replace one or both, I'm just curious. When someone goes through the $250 of the labor, why they don't just spend enough, you know, and replace both gaskets? Why well, wouldn't can, you? Can I? Can I? I want you to answer my question. That's what I want. To do both valve cover gaskets, it's not $300. How much is it to do both? Uh, you probably got three point something, at least three point something hours labor. You have a V8 engine on two sides of the engine. There's a cover. Those covers don't come off with two bolts. There's a lot of bolts. Are there two different covers? Two different totally covers. They're this long, it's eight cylinders, four on this side, this long, and four on this side, Got this it. long. So the 250 covers the taking off of the valve, of one of the valve covers at your place? Correct. Okay, because with the 250 at the other guy's place, I guess, was to take off both? Yep. And I also had brakes done the same time because- Well, he's cheaper, fine, you yeah. should be going there. By the way, when did you do the, the uh, replacement of the right side gasket? Where, let me see the receipt for that. Do you have it? It was in November, of November 5th. Of 2015? 15. Okay, and when did you have it redone by these guys? 412? Because the car doesn't come out in the winter. She brought it back to me in March to show me that it was yeah. still leaking. Yeah. And when I looked at it in March, she said that the gentleman that looked at it marked off where it was he leaking. Did. And I'm gonna tell you again, I've been doing this for 35, 40 years. I don't care how long years. you've been doing it. Well, I could tell you this. I made sure that Mrs. Ionello knew that we do valve covers together because they're both gaskets are the same age. And if one's gonna leak, the other one's gonna leak. She refused to listen to me. She did what she wanted. You mean back in November? That's correct. Well, when I told her your, about wait, the leak, is that and on your, I told the, her about the what leak. What part of hold on do you think he doesn't understand? Mm. Because she thing. didn't even bring it in for the leak. On. You think it's both the hold I, and I the on? So. I think so. She That's brought think it in too. for a tire noise. We told her <laughs> Do you hear me when I tell you to hold on? Go ahead. I'm Excuse holding. Me, I'm sorry. <laughs> And, uh, wait, wait, watch this. She's trying to interrupt. I'm trying to ask him a question. I'm trying to shut him up so I can ask the question. Enough. And then she pipes up. <clears throat> I can only imagine mm. what this was like mm -hmm. at your garage. Mm. The two of you screaming at each other, each one trying to be heard over the other. I can only, I would love to be a fly on that wall. <laughs> it would make me sound demure. <laughs> so are you gonna listen? Mm -hmm. Okay. Anytime that you advise a client, that they have to do something. It should be in your invoice mm -hmm. so that you don't get pegged with it mm -hmm. later. But it's not in your invoice, right? You're, you're correct, but the chalk mark was on the left side. We did the right side. The chalk mark that her guy put on the engine yeah. was on the left side because she brought it back for me to see, yeah. which was not the side we did, which is why I November, said- November, December, I can't January, fix the left side. February, March, April. It's five months later. Correct. I mean, she lasts more than five months, right? Yeah, well, it did last more than five months, didn't it? No. The, no, according to this guy, I mean, this guy replaced it because he said it needed replacing. He replaced the he replaced the one you did. He but, never said the other side was leaking that I did. He put chalk on the chalk side on the, I didn't other, No, do. I, I get I and get it. And she talked me into doing the it. one. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So, uh, six months down the line, repair uh, the problem sur resurfaces. Is the repair shop response? Unless there was a... A warranty, I would say no. Because? Because there's no guarantee on that, on that service after they leave. Fair enough, six months. You know what, at that point, she probably could have done something to like mess up the car again. I'm thinking it's probably not the repair shop's fault. Interesting and good point. I, I was thinking the same thing. If there was a warranty and then something else could have happened, it was a used car. Fair enough, okay. Going inside the courtroom. You have no evidence, that because watch this. Did he ever tell you you should do both sides? If he would have told me, I would have done both sides. Okay, so here's what happens. When you have an opportunity to show in writing what you recommend a client to do, I've never seen anybody who's been in business for 30 years not realize that you should do that. So you have very inadequate proof that you warned her she should do her left side. The difference between what I'm gonna say and what's in your, your, your noggins right now is that you guys think that matters. See. What you're asking for him to pay you back what he charged you for a right side. So here are the reasons you are not gonna win, okay? 
Number one, it was six months later or something after he had done the repair. So I don't know what you did or didn't do to that car that could cause that to be the problem. Number two, the chalk mark that the guy put on the leak was on the part he didn't do. But number three, and most important to me, there was, although I think that he should be putting in there, I recommend you do the left side so that he doesn't even get to court and he didn't. It's very clear from that invoice of November Okay, very clear that he was only doing the right side. You knew he was only doing the right side. So you literally are coming here saying, I paid 250 to do the right side and I'd like my money back because as it turns out, I also needed something else seven months later. No, that's not how court works. That does not a successful lawsuit for you make. So I don't know what's in your hand, but I don't need to know because based on what I've listened to, my verdict is for the defendant. Hold on, hold on. So after a rather heated argument here, the plaintiff comes out a loser, which I think surprises you. It, does. it really does. Um, he's a crazy guy. Um, fortunately, I didn't win this case, but you know what comes around goes around. Well, I think you learned something here in court today. And a lot of people might be wondering, with a nice car like that, why do you only bring it out in the summertime? Because it's a convertible and I have an SUV to drive every day with my family. This was a gift for me to enjoy for my husband. You're so lucky. I am lucky. You are very lucky. Yes, All I right. Am. Congratulations. Thank you. Sorry you lost. <laughs> Here comes Mr. Bruno, the defendant. I think you're probably shocked you didn't lose the case. No, I'm not Aren't shocked you? at all. Didn't you think she was going to find against you the way things she were going? She couldn't because I know that I gave her what she paid for, which I give everyone what they paid for. I do not charge somebody for something they don't get. I got news for you. She could have found against you. How's that? She cautioned you to write certain things in I your- I know, and my you, manager you left that, that off. No, no, okay. I, I knew that. Okay. My manager forgets. Okay. And I know I told her and her husband together that you should do both sides. Okay. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Okay, dokes. Harvey, what do you think? You know, I gotta say, in this case, the business person is lucky because if uh, a customer wants something that the repair shop thinks is not the right thing to do, that should be documented and put in the file.